James and Liz were a couple living on the edge of danger, involved in a series of crimes to sustain their risky lifestyle. They would rob small businesses to ensure easy money, but this crime spree was about to come to an end. On a dark night, wearing their masks and wielding weapons, James and Liz headed to a jewelry store in the city. With agility, they stole all the money and watches from the place. However, as they exited, the owner of the jewelry store immediately alerted the police. In the ecstasy of their successful heist, the couple got into their car and savored the moment. As James heard the distant sound of police sirens, and as they tried to flee, they realized the vehicle refused to start. With the police closing in, James and Liz decided to abandon the car and escape on foot. Luck smiled upon James as he managed to dodge through alleys and elude the pursuing officers. Liz, on the other hand, wasn't as fortunate. She was captured by the police and taken to a special cell in prison. There, she met Scarlett, a criminal who had been caught robbing the Central Bank of Michigan. Scarlett disclosed to Liz that she would be interrogated to provide information about James. Scarlett also revealed an unusual method chosen by the interrogators, tickling the feet. Despite claiming to be ticklish, Liz dismissed the method as silly, asserting that she would never yield under the pressure of tickling. But, will Liz be able to resist the unconventional interrogation method? Okay Liz, let's begin. We know about James, and we know there's another car in some garage here in Michigan, and we know that's where he is. So tell me, where is the location, and what is the make and plate of the car? I'm not saying anything. Okay Liz, then we'll have to follow protocol until you answer the question. <laughs> <laughs>